Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is test-driven development framework? Let me answer. In short, test-driven development framework is known as TDD. So what exactly is this TDD or test-driven development framework? So it is a software development methodology. That means it is a methodology followed by software developers while developing the application. Okay, It's kind of a methodology that software developers will follow in order to develop the application. Okay, By following this development methodology, it can result in some benefits and all. Okay, It will have some benefits or advantages. Okay, So the developers following this methodology, where that is a test-driven development methodology for developing the software, will result in some benefits. I'm going to cover all the benefits at the end. Okay, By following this methodology, what are the benefits we get? By this TDD methodology, I'm going to cover at the end. But before that, let's understand what exactly this methodology all about first. Okay. So this methodology, according to this methodology, okay, it emphasizes writing the tests before actually writing the code. You see, when developers uh, get some requirements and you know they have to develop the application, okay, using that client given or client specified requirements, uh, okay, they will collect the requirements and start developing the application code. That is a general way, okay, general process in general development pro projects where uh, this TDD software development methodology is not followed. They will get the requirements, developers will directly start writing the application code for that requirement to satisfy the requirements. But here, the process is going to change a bit where developers are going to first write the tests, okay, before the application is application code is developed, okay. For the application functionality to work, we have our developers have to write the code. Before that code is actually there or written, the tests are going to be written first. First step is developers are going to write the test. Who are going to write the test? Developers. Okay. Before developing the application functionality code, they are going to write the test first. Okay. That, that's the main thing about this. Uh, main thing that you have to understand about this uh, development methodology known as test driven development framework methodology. Okay. So what is the advantage and all we'll cover later. Okay. First you understood, right? Tests. We have uh, developers will write the test and then they will write the code. Okay. According to this TDD methodology. Fine. It follows a cycle of a test, running the test, which should fail initially, writing the code to make the test pass and then refactoring the code. This line, if you have to understand, you have to understand this uh, steps, okay? In TDD framework, if, if you are following this uh, software development methodology, that is TDD software development methodology, so there are some steps, okay, to be followed by developers. What mm -hmm. developers have to do first, then what next and like that, okay? So these are the steps. First step is to write a test. I told you, right, first developers are going to write the test. Okay, before writing the code for the uh, application development, they are going to write the test. So developers are going uh, going to write the test first, okay? Because it's a test-driven development, okay? Tests are going to drive the development, okay? As the name speaks, test-driven development. First, they have to write the test. These tests are going to drive the development, okay? That concept you have to understand. So write a test. The first step is to create a test that defines the expected behavior of the code, okay? So first, uh, developers will write some tests to test the application functionality, okay? To whether see, even before writing the application code, they're writing a test to see whether the application functionality is working fine or not, okay? So this step, uh, how they are going to write the code in real time and how they are going to write this, uh, you know, test in real time. Simple, they are going to use some uh, testing framework like uh, testng, JUnit, JUnit, or something like that, okay? Testng, JUnit for Java or JUnit for .NET, depending on the language. They'll select some testing framework like testng, JUnit, or uh, any unit okay and uh, you see uh, according to that uh, testing framework we, we generally create some methods okay each and every method is a test in that some some code will be written to test the functionality of the application first they are writing the tests and since there is nothing no application code is developed and uh, what they will do next is they are going to run the test okay before the application functionality is developed itself they are going to run the test Obviously, what will happen when the application functionality is not developed and you are running the test, what will happen? The test is going to fail, right? The test is going to fail because there is no application functionality developed yet for the test to pass. So once the test is written, it is executed. Since the code for desired behavior is, has not been implemented yet, the test is expected to fail at this stage. It's okay to fail that. Okay, it's okay. The test is failing. For the failed test, they are going to write the code. To overcome this failure, now they are writing the code. Once they are writing a test, Okay, when the code is uh, application code is not developed, then they are running the test and they know that in advance that this particular test is going to fail because 
the application uh, code is uh, application is not developed yet okay on which the test need to run then they will write the code to overcome that problem okay for the test to pass they have to write the code the next step is to write the code that fulfills the requirement of the test okay whatever the test that is there to fulfill that for the test to pass they are writing the code okay they are not writing the code directly rather they have an intention of okay they have a focus on the particular test to pass for that reason they are developing okay they are not developing to satisfy the requirements they are developing to satisfy the test to pass okay but they have to make sure that that particular test is going to pass okay for that they will be writing the code here intention is different the way they are thinking about developing the code is different in the normal development they will simply develop the code to pass the require to satisfy the requirement okay but here in this case they are writing the code by keeping the test to be passed in mind okay after i write the code this particular test should pass that is the mindset they have in this td approach hope you got the point the next step is to write the code that fulfills the requirement of the test the code should be designed to pass the test and should not contain any unnecessary functionality okay simply to pass the test they are writing the code okay that intention they have then after writing the code now earlier whatever that is that got failed right they will run it again to see after writing the code whether this particular test is passing or not okay so after writing that code the test is executed again this time the test should pass since the code has been implemented to satisfy the test if it is not passing again they have to modify the code and you know get the test passed till the test get passed they have to keep writing the code or modifying the code then next one is it's not done it the next thing is refactor once the test has passed the code is refactored to improve its defined refactored means to uh, follow some best practices to make the code better okay so maybe in all aspects it may be you know uh, performance okay are there any performance bottlenecks security bottlenecks is the code maintainable maintainable uh, can we improve the design okay uh, are the standards followed while writing the code best practices followed while writing the code everything will be checked in this phase okay the refactoring step ensures the code remains clean and follows best practices this is the main intention of refactoring it's not just about test passing but another step is there where they have to take this code to the next level okay uh, they have to make sure that as part of the process they have to make sure that uh, this particular code written is properly written with best practices they have to make sure in this step okay and then they have to repeat that another test they have to take another test they have to write and uh, they have to run the test it will fail now to pass the test they are going to write the code once the code is written they will run the test again if the test is passing they will go to the next step and refactor and improve the quality of the code uh, by following some best practices and all okay and the next test case this is the process now we will understand this line it follows a cycle of writing a test running the test which is often uh, which will fail initially then write the code to make the test pass okay and then run uh, run the test means writing the test to make the test pass and then refactoring the code to improve it to improve its quality okay these are the steps followed in DDD framework where you got the idea right the approach or the mindset of the developers will change a bit by while following this approach where they will write the they will develop the application code with an intention of the uh, test should work okay with an intention of the test should pass that means there are some benefits we'll get right by following this approach what are the benefits we get let's see that okay several benefits will come to the development teams uh, by doing that the key benefits are here that is a uh, improved core quality okay so uh, tdd encourages developers to write the focus test that define the expected behavior of the code okay so first they are writing the test uh, okay uh, uh, writing the test uh, which need to test the application functionality to work in a certain way okay expected way so developers to write the focus test that define the expected behavior of the code by writing the test first developers gain a clear understanding of the requirements if this, uh, if, if the developers are not writing the test and uh, directly from the requirements they are developing the application, even though uh, there are some confusions in the requirements, you know, those will not be clarified. They will not have a clear idea about what requirement is. They simply blindly go and develop the code, okay? Without questioning themselves, simply they will take a requirement and develop the code, okay? Who knows it is correct or not? Whatever they believe, they will do that. But in this case, they have to test it. They have to write a test. They, uh, to write a test, they have to understand okay without understanding the requirement they cannot write a test so the blockage is there but in the normal process even though they don't understand the requirement developers are going to directly write the code for that okay by thinking that this is a correct way they are not going to question whether this is right or wrong okay but if they are writing the test means they have to understand the requirement and uh, with understanding only they will be able to write the test and by writing the test they are you know developing the code means you know 
the clear understanding will be there and uh, you know uh, improved code quality will happen okay because of the clear understanding the requirement and this uh, design necessary to fulfill this requirements okay so it will ultimately lead to code quality improved code quality because they are understanding the requirements for writing the test and then developing the code because of which code quality will improve next one early bug detection so the software don't have to go to the testers to get the bugs detected okay most of the bugs will be detected at the developer send itself okay so so helps identify issues and bugs early in the development cycle when a test fails so when a test fails it indicates a problem in the code you see the tests are failing here right uh, while performing these steps okay while writing the code and uh, testing it again this test may fail okay until the test pass they are keeping on writing the code okay here itself the bugs most of the bugs are identified okay while repeating the test again after writing the code, right? They are finding the bugs here itself. De developers themselves are finding the bugs. So early bug detection is possible. Okay. So developers can prevent these problems from pro propagating to other parts of the system. Faster bug resolution and reduce the over cost of fixing the defects. Early bug detection means uh, cost of fixing the defects will get reduced. Okay. Okay. Early stage uh, bug detection is done here. The uh, other key benefit we get is there are a lot of benefits actually. These are the main three benefits: poor quality early bug detection because they are testing it, right? So bug, bugs will be detected early in the development stages itself. They don't have to go for the testing stages what, what software testers will test later, okay? Then refactoring. Refactoring becomes an integral part. Refactoring means improvising the code, quality of the code, okay? So it's uh, improvising the quality of the code by making sure the code written by, by them is following some certain standards, performance uh, things, it's a uh, satisfying security aspects. It's satisfying maintainability and all those stuff, best practices and all will be followed as part of refactoring. Since we are incorporating as part of TDD, the process is incorporating this kind of uh, refactoring process into the system. Okay. So leading to a more maintainable code base over time. Okay. Refactoring becomes an integral part of the development process. This is what is the advantage. Okay. Otherwise, you know, Developers have to take in normal development, developers have to take uh, some separate time for refactoring the code. But here, part of the system itself, refactoring is there. Okay, they don't have to uh, take a special day to refactor the code or special days to refactor the code. Rather, while developing itself, you know, uh, they are refactoring the code as part of this process. Okay, and overall, overall, what is the benefit of this TDD at a single line? TDD promotes a disciplined and systematic approach to software development. Okay, by following this, it will uh, promote a disciplined okay and systematic approach to software development leading to higher code, code quality okay because of this refactoring early bug detection and all those stuff understanding and developing the code and all those because of those points right okay uh, you know it will lead to higher code quality okay it is a systematic approach within the process system the things are there and it is it is giving you a benefit of higher code quality okay so you understood what is TDD and uh, what are its benefits in this session, okay? How it will be done in real time and, you know, who will be doing that, developers will be doing that and uh, the benefits of TDD, all those things I covered in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.